Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee out taking a walk today and I thought I'd uh, take a couple of minutes to show you guys my uh, chest rig that I've been uh, working on for the last uh, couple of months just uh, trying different uh, configurations and stuff. I've got a couple different chest rigs at home but I particularly like this one. Uh, this one seems to really uh, fit the bill for the amount of stuff that I want to carry. Now I am not uh, delusional to the point that I think I'm going to be some kind of high-speed operator uh, door kicker when uh, SHTF happens but I am part of a community and uh, our community is uh, pretty tight-knit. And if uh, the situation arises where I would be asked to, uh, you know, do something like watch particular things or uh, stand guard or uh, keep an eye on uh, different things that are around, um, I would definitely partake of that. Uh, like I said, we do have a preparedness-minded um, community here, and uh, we have some uh, good people. So I wouldn't want to... Uh, you know, slack on my responsibility if it ever got to that. So, you know, my uh, my mindset is uh, I should have the right tools for that particular situation if uh, it would ever um, occur. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to uh, give you a little bit of a first-person account of what I've got in this particular rig here, let you guys look at what I got. I'm going to try to explain some of the mindset behind some of these items that I carry besides just my, uh, my weapon. Anyway, you guys stick around. All right, guys, uh, this is a Helicon Tex chest rig. Uh, I believe it's called a Guardian. Uh, I paid about $119 for it, and the reason I got it was is I've got a Helicon Tex Swagman roll, and it's a pretty good piece of gear. So I said, you know what, I'm... I'm going to get one of their chest rigs and uh, try that out. And uh, it's got several uh, pockets across the front, and it's got two larger pockets on uh, either side. Uh, the first one here, this is my uh, medical pouch, and uh, instead of paying uh, like five ten dollars for a medical patch i just took some velcro and uh, made myself a uh, medical patch and uh, i actually uh, rubber banded a couple of tourniquets on uh, the side of it through the uh, molly webbing that's on there to save space inside uh, the pouch so that was sort of the first thing um, that i did when i decided that i was going to do uh, the medical stuff on this particular side uh, i like uh these pouches actually have a, uh, a bit of Velcro on a, uh, with the uh, snap, which is kind of cool. Keeps everything more secure, and I've got a uh, pressure dressing in the front, and then I actually have a uh, Ziploc bag next where I got a, uh, uh, a Mylar blanket in case uh, for any uh, blood loss. Uh, causes hypothermia then hypothermia causes blood loss so you really should have some kind of uh mylar blanket to try to keep as much heat in as you possibly can if somebody's uh, injured and then i got uh you can see it there i got compressed gauze i got uh, some quick clot in there and i got some uh, chest seals and i also got a small tube of uh antibiotic cream just for small like uh boo-boo type stuff and then on a little pull uh tab here i got my um, one of my metal uh shears i like metal shears just because uh there's no chance of them breaking the only thing of it is is they got uh smaller thumb holes if you're using gloves and then um i decided i was going to throw in one of these uh can of provision decon water kits and basically what they are is they're a water purification kit and they're a boo-boo kit they've got some band-aids in it they got water purification tablets they got some towelettes that you can use to uh, filter water because i sort of want to have something to uh, either filter or collect water um, if necessary because i don't know what kind of environment i am going to be in if i'm a uh, using this and uh, that's pretty much my uh oh and i got a uh i got a roll of uh the thin gorilla tape in there as well um that's another thing that i got pouched on uh the side 
So that's pretty much uh, my medical kit. And I also have another pouch that's back behind it. This uh, rig actually had um, sort of a pistol holder and a pistol mag holder. Well, I actually took that stuff out. So it actually gives me another pouch back here, like if I'd want to throw another pressure dressing or something like that in. And uh, when it comes to mags, you can see... I actually uh, have six in here the way it is, and I like uh, I like taking a uh, aluminum mag. Show you there. I like taking an aluminum mag, put that in the front, and then I like to take a P mag and uh, put it in the back, and uh, that actually works really good for me that's sort of how i like uh setting them up inside the pouches and then there's three identical pouches and then uh on this side over here is big enough to hold a canteen so i actually got a, a canteen in there it will also hold one of the um the dave canterbury uh sir what is it self-reliance outfitters uh steel bottles it'll hold one of those as well and then back in behind that i've actually uh i've got a headlamp where i got the uh, the band sticking out so i can kind of grab that and pull that out if uh if i need it and uh, i'll always like having a light on any of my gears so i pretty much have a light on and then down in beside that i actually got the little uh the little puck for my uh, hearing protection and i will also have a set of either um, tinted safety glasses or clear safety glasses along with this kit slid into one of these uh uh, straps here so I got uh, I got that with me if I grab this in a hurry I want to have that hearing protection and eye protection and then I've got a small knife and uh, that's actually a Gerber Guardian backup and uh, I've got a couple of those I've had them for uh, years they're actually a really sturdy knife and it's got sort of a reversible clip on it that clips down in um, behind that molly webbing uh, really well and then I just added a little bit of a hook and loop to that that attaches to the hook and loop that's already in there so it really gives it uh, the sheath that gives it a really positive uh, doesn't move around a lot and that's kind of what i like it and there's actually a couple more um spots here where you can add magazines as well uh, so if i'd want to add two more mags i could put two more mags in here and i could bump uh, this particular kit up to uh eight so anyway just wanted to uh show you guys this i also have a pair of gloves that i got tucked in uh one of the pouches here too so if i grab this i got a pair of gloves so i got my basic safety stuff i got gloves i got my uh, glasses i got my hearing protection i got my medical stuff i got a little bit of water and water purification stuff and then i got uh uh, my ammo so that's uh basically how i uh, keep this uh kit set up with my uh truck gun and uh so if anything would ever happen i'm squared away to a certain extent but i just thought i'd uh, show this to you guys when i'm out here uh, taking my walk today good day to uh practicing anyway this is modern refugee i appreciate all my subscribers out there hope you guys get a little information a little entertainment out of my videos here and you guys have a good one